Silva and welcome to Snail Lights, the Glow Network and Online Beauty Summit. Since we want everyone to stay safe during these uncertain times, Snail White is bringing its very own beauty talks, learning sessions, and live Q&As online for all of you to watch in the comfort of your very own home. And for the Glow Network's very first talk, we will be talking all about skin acids. And here to discuss that with you is dermatologist Dr. Ana Palabia Brufino. Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Ana Palabia Brufino. I'm a board certified dermatologist under the Philippine Dermatological Society and I'm the co-founder of Boutique MD. I've been in dermatology practice for around 10 years now and I'm here today to talk about the different kinds of skin acids that can work as exfoliants for your skin. So first off, what are skin acids anyway? Don't worry, it's not as scary as it sounds. They're actually miracle workers for our skin that helps address a lot of different issues that we've probably gone through at some point in our lives. So such as hyperpigmentation, acne, enlarged pores, oily skin, or even dry and dull skin. So what does it do? It helps exfoliate and dissolve the dead and dry skin on the surface, helping reveal the healthier and more luminous skin underneath. Just to make things easier to understand for everyone, I'm going to discuss the different skin acids found as active ingredients in different products available in the market today. We're going to discuss them from A to Z. And I even have a little cheat sheet over here so that I don't get confused and I don't miss out on anything. Let's begin to discuss each one. AHA or alpha hydroxy acids are plant and animal-based acids that you can get in fruits and milk. So what does it do? It helps shed off the top layers of your skin, helping reveal brighter and newer skin underneath. It just doesn't do that, it also helps promote collagen production, improving the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles on your skin. BHAs or beta-hydroxy acids just don't work on the surface. They get deep into the pores, dissolving the gunk or sebum that's been stuck there that your cleansers or face masks can no longer get to. So it helps soothe the skin, it also helps control oiliness or sebum production, and prevents the formation of acne. It also makes pores visibly smaller. These two are the most popular acids you can find in the market today. You can find them as ingredients in moisturizers, serums, face masks, and even toners. Recently, they've been able to combine these two, AHA and BHA, because they found out that their properties are very complementary and that they don't negate each other, giving you better results. Let's move on to letter C, which is for citric acid. It's a type of AHA derived from citrusy fruits. It's an antioxidant-rich skin acid, which helps visibly fade out dark spots or pigmentation or sunspots we can find on our skin. F is for ferulic acid, which is also an antioxidant-rich acid, which is stronger than citric acid. So if you have sensitive skin, you have to be careful and you have to use this sparingly. Glycolic acid is another form of alpha-hydroxy acid, which has amazing benefits on the skin. So aside from the brightening effect, it has some moisturizing properties and it helps reduce the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles on the face. Moving on, there's lactic acid, which is much gentler, so it's perfect for beginners and those with sensitive skin. So it actually helps soften fine lines and wrinkles as well as exfoliate the upper layers of the skin. Next, we have mandelic acid. So this is popular in chemical peels and facials. It actually is a brightening, lightening peel, which helps even out the skin tone. PHAs or polyhydroxy acids are now considered the next generation alpha hydroxy acids. They're much gentler on the skin, so a lot of people who have sensitive skin can actually use this. And aside from just exfoliating the top layers, it actually helps other products penetrate through the skin better. It helps protect from free radicals. It also has moisturizing properties and so people really love the glow that we get after using this. Retinol is a vitamin A derivative. It's a great anti-aging product which helps sweep away dead skin cells on the surface. It helps enhance collagen production. It helps 
reduce fine lines and wrinkles, and evens out hyperpigmentation. But depending on the strength, you have to use it with caution, especially if you have sensitive skin because it may cause stinging redness and some irritation. Last but not the least is salicylic acid. So it's a type of BHA or beta-hydroxy acid which is perfect for oily, combination, and acne-prone skin types. So what it does is it helps re reduce the excessive production of sebum and it helps soothe acne as well as prevent it from forming. Let's take a few moments of silence just to absorb and digest everything that you just learned about acids. going to be discussing how to properly combine these acids to maximize their benefits or effects on the skin. Some actually work well together and others not so. Like I said earlier, AHA and BHA is actually a good combination. Don't be afraid because some people might think that just because you mix acids, it's going to cause redness or irritation. But if you have sensitive skin, it's always important to remember to slowly introduce new products into your skincare regimen. So you may not be able to use it every night in the beginning, but slowly you can increase the frequency of application depending on the tolerance of your skin. So it's only in the regular use and consistency of application that you'll be able to achieve the best results. Combining AHA and BHA actually gives you the best of both worlds when it comes to skin acids. They have different properties, but when combined, they actually complement each other perfectly. As we learned earlier, AHA is more suitable for dry, dull skin. And being water-soluble, it actually helps to solve the dead skin on the surface, revealing brighter skin underneath. It also helps promote collagen production and reduces the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. Whereas, BHA is more suitable for acne-prone and oily skin. It helps to sludge the bacteria, impurities, and excess oil deep within the pores. It also helps soothe the redness and irritation brought about by acne. So, putting this in a one-step application actually makes it easier for someone to benefit from both these two acids. AHAs and BHAs can actually also be combined with PHAs to create a blend of actives that can be used to treat a variety of skin issues. Aside from knowing what acids to combine, it's also good to take into consideration the different ingredients in your skincare products because some of these ingredients might be negating each other, rendering the product useless or ineffective. Take note that some of the ingredients that work well in combination with acids include hyaluronic acid, glycerin, aloe vera, snail extracts, and even niacinamide. I know that some snail-infused products have become a trend recently, but they actually work quite well in combination with AHA and BHA because it helps hydrate and balance the skin out. More importantly, it doesn't disturb the process of the acids. Now that we're done talking about the best combinations when it comes to acids, it's time to move on to the worst or not so good ones. Just remember that if there's a specific combination that I didn't mention, then that probably means that acid is meant to be used on its own. A no-no combination would be retinol and AHAs. And since glycolic acid is a type of AHA, we never mix it with retinol. They both work to help peel off the upper layers of the skin, so it becomes redundant when you use them together. Also, together, they might cause a lot of redness and irritation, especially when you expose your skin to the sun. And although you can't put it one on top of the other, we sometimes advise our patients to use them separately. Glycolic and alpha-hydroxy acids during the day and retinol usually at bedtime. Another not-so-good combination would be retinol and BHAs or salicylic acid. Just like with AHAs, it can lead to a lot of sensitivity and irritation when exposed to the sun. 
so we advise you to use them separately, alternatingly in the evenings, or BHA or salicylic acid during the day and retinol at night. I guess that's enough for today. Thank you for listening, and I hope you learned a lot. But if you have more questions and clarifications about chemical exfoliants and how they work, just leave your questions in the comments section, and I'll try to go through them and answer each one during an upcoming Q&A with Snail White. Thank you for having me. See you soon. Bye. Thank you for that, Dr. Anna. That was very educational. If, like me, you guys want to try some skin acids or chemical exfoliants, well, Snail White has the perfect product for you, which is their Glow Potion Toner. It has both AHAs and BHAs, which, according to Dr. Anna, will give you the best of both worlds. It also has other skin caring ingredients like hyaluronic acid, niacinamide, ginseng, Swiss Alpine Willow Herb, and Witch Hazel. And together, they can exfoliate hydrate, smoothen, and brighten your skin. By the way, to achieve clear, miraculously glowing skin, you can also pair the Glow Potion with Whip Soap and Moisture Facial Cream to complete the Holy Grail Trinity skincare regimen. If you have any questions or clarifications about skin acids, chemical exfoliants, or other skincare ingredients, well, feel free to drop all your questions in the comments below because Dr. Anna will be going through them and answering them during a live Q&A with Snail White. This will be happening on June 20 at 4 p.m. in Snail White's Instagram account, which is at Snail White Fills. This is just the first talk of the Glow Network, so keep an eye out in the next few days because we still have a lot of talks and sessions in store for all of you. This is just the beginning, guys. We'll see you again online really soon. Bye!